so Cherry, let's talk about this this new wave of gender fluidity, transgender, whatever, whatever it's going by today, right? So this, you said you found an article. I want, let, let's, let's read the people your article. What does it say? The Telegraph said, mm -hmm. don't call pregnant women expectant mothers as it might offend transgender people. The BMA says. Oh, so, all right. So what does that even mean? Does that mean that a transgender could be pregnant? So, all right. So they may not identify as a woman. All right. They say you've got to make this make sense to me now. A transgender man or woman? Yeah, explain this to me. I, don't I think, you. I think my interpretation is mm. possibly an individual transforming from a woman to a man, mm -hmm. identifying as a man, but still but having pregnant. female parts. Right. So I remember, and I had actually spoke about this, I remember when it was Celebrity Big Brother and Genuine was in the house. Mm, I remember too. And there was the transgender that wanted to kiss him. He didn't want to kiss mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. To me, and I said this, you see when a man mm. decides that he wants to be a woman. Yeah. I specifically remember the person in the house mm. saying, I am a woman. Mm -hmm. So he probably spent, what, 40 years, 40 something years as a man. Yeah. And then be, turned to be a woman. Yeah. And a well-known man at that. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't think he's in a position to call himself a woman. That's interesting. You're a woman. That's interesting, yeah. Do you think a man yeah. that spent them 40 years as a man and had an operation to put breasts in or mm. take their stuff away mm. can be called a woman? See, I, I think that that's your 100% prerogative to identify what you identify as. Mm. However, yeah, mm. if somebody has a preference, that is not for you to say what their preference should be. Like, mm. I don't feel like... And my, my argument with that is that 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 whole thing was like even if that was an individual who was born female yeah mm -hmm. in that age bracket dressing that way same hairstyle everything genuine probably wouldn't find her attractive anyway right so i'm just like so you're angry at the preference or are you angry at the fact that you got you're not fe yeah like or you're not feeling like he's rejecting you as a woman or you feel like he's rejecting you as a man um that is transforming into a woman, like, what is it? Because I just feel like, then it starts, the, the lines start getting blurred. It's like, you can't tell me what my preference should be. If I don't like that, I don't like that. Yeah, it's I, as simple as that. I, I, I agree, but it seems like, it seems like people are, see, people may say I'm gonna sound ignorant, but it seems like people are making up, I guess, gender roles as they go along nowadays. Because mm -hmm. yeah, this yeah. whole gender fluidity thing, mm -hmm. I'm confused because, I've, I said in my video, you're either born with an XX chromosome mm. or XY, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? And XX means you're a woman, mm -hmm. and XY means you're a man. Mm -hmm. And I and and I and I and you can't change that. Mm -hmm. You can't change your genetics. So it, you you can. I've always said you can have whatever operation you want. Yeah. But you can't change your genetics. But what you're asking me to now do is, you know, forget science, forget mm -hmm. genetics, mm -hmm, and just mm -hmm. call you by whatever you choose to call yourself. And I'm saying, is that is that people, are you asking the general public to mm -hmm. feed into your own mental, delu I would call it a delusion. Right, okay. I don't know what you call it. Mm. I mean, I wouldn't call it deluded, but I would just, I just feel like everybody's going through something different and how they identify themselves as, as I said before, is their thing. I just don't feel like you can force the world to jump on your ship in it. Like, right. There's there's too many people in this world, too many different walks of life that will just not agree with something that you do, man. Right, like right. somebody may not agree with the fact that I put red in my hair or somebody might not like the way I sing or like somebody might not like the way that I dress. Like for me to expect everyone to get on board with my thing, it's just, it's just a bit ridiculous. I, I'm in total agreement. So, but the fact that they're saying you shouldn't call a pregnant woman, what, pregnant? Listen, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> When my female friends are with child, right. yeah, 
I will always call that lady a pregnant woman. End right. of story. I'm sorry, I can't hear that. Right. I can't hear that. Like, it's different if you go up to somebody who is transforming from female to male and you're like, no, you're a stop acting like... That's different. Right, But right, I'm like, right. for you to, like, not allow anybody else who is born female and becomes pregnant to be called a pregnant woman is ridiculous. Yeah, because now, we ha- now we're conforming to your agenda. I'm just like, like, can people live? Like, you want to live, can other people live? Like, the fact, that, what upsets me about the whole thing is like, you want everybody to, to get on your side of the fence. And what about the people who are genuinely born a certain way and live their life in that gender for the rest of their life out of their personal choice? Why would you take that identity away from them? Mm. That's not fair. But, all right, but as a woman yourself, mm. if a man identifies as a woman and calls himself a woman, mm-hmm. does that offend you? It doesn't offend me. It doesn't offend you? No, it doesn't offend me. Okay, but do you think... I'm going to try and probe a little bit. Do you think they have the right, as a woman yourself, mm. knowing what women go through? you got periods, you got childbirth, you got... Mm. You got all, you got smear tests, you got all kind of things. He's gonna call himself a woman. He has to do none of that. Is he a woman? I think if you're a woman, if you if you go through the surgical procedure and you become a woman, and you, that's how you choose to identify is as a woman, then that's your thing. But I'm just like, when it comes to level up thing. Don't level up with me because I've been doing this thing for life. <laughs> All your life, yeah. yeah but okay, I don't, okay. I don't feel like I'm personally offended by somebody who's, who's a trans. I'm not offended All right, so like that. So if I said I wanted to be Chinese, yeah. If I said in my head I feel like a Chinese man. Like, what up, cuz? <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> all right. I'm going to say, I want to be Chinese. Yeah. I feel Chinese. I felt like this all my life. Remember, Rachel Dozel's done it, you know? Yeah. She said that she feels like she's black. So yeah. if she has now operations, right, to make her darker, if I have operations to make me look more Chinese, yeah. can I go to Chinese people and say, what's up? I'm one of you. No, you can't really. They so then like... can transgender women come and say, what's up? I'm one of you. Yeah, but I don't, I don't, I don't feel like... See, that, that's when it just becomes blurred. So I'm just like, if somebody's coming up, up to you, that's what I'm saying. Like, in terms of like leveling, leveling up to me, right. that's when it starts going to be... You're not on my level. You're, you're halfway there. Like, just, just relax a little bit, innit? Just one step <laughs> at a time. But I'm not offended by the actual procedure and what you're doing. I'm not offended by that. Mm. But like, even like the Rachel Dozel thing, like, have you seen the Netflix um, documentary? I haven't. I, I chose consciously not to watch it. To be fair, I watched it. Okay. And as much as I don't, like, think that, oh, she's right and she's blah, 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 I understand her. Right, okay. After watching it. Right, okay. And I think it's a good watch because I feel like it just goes so back... So is she black? No, she's mm. not, but okay. I know why, from watching that, from the why story... Why she feels that way. Why she feels like she wants to identify right. as black because of her story, but you need to watch it to see why But I'm then what comes that. first, your feelings or the facts? Well, I feel, I feel like... The fact should always come first, didn't it? But mm. I feel like sometimes how your childhood is shaped or because certain things that happen to you, mm. it can change your whole feeling on life like altogether, isn't it? But I think that they delve, they delve deep into that on that documentary and I, I felt like as much as I feel like, babe, you're a little bit, it's a bit mad, I understand her a bit her more. Her madness. Yeah, I understand it a bit more. Because with with trauma comes a, can come mm. a lot of different layers and levels and stuff. 